Hi guys, welcome to this new tutorial on texturing in Blender and an easy way to improve the look of your textures in a really easy way. So we're going to firstly start by finding a texture. I have a website I recommend. Uh, it's quick linked on my YouTube channel called CG Textures or Textures.com and on this website you can get loads of free textures as well as paid textures and also including PBR materials and 3D scan materials as well. But for this demonstration I thought I'd pick some wood because this works quite well, some bark. Um, I've chosen to download this one, as you can see. I'm going to start by changing our render engine over in the render properties tab from EV to cycles, which is a preferable engine uh, as it gives you a lot more control as you see that you can change the sampling rate, the device as well. Uh, it just generally has more control. So the first step you want to do is head over to the materials tab. There should always already be a material uh, default, but you can add one here. We don't need to add one. Um, first of all, you want to select what shade you want. The rule of thumb is if you want glass, you click glass. Uh, if you want something that's metallic or shiny you click glossy and if you want something matte you can click diffuse which we want because wood is matte we then click next to the color um, selection and you can change it to an image texture open and navigate to where you saved your image so I saved it in my downloads open it uh, you can also go over to the top right and click on viewport shading to see uh, just the basic texture. It's not a rendered view, but just, just the textured view. Um, we should head into UV editing and unwrap our shape. You can obviously go more advanced into unwrapping if you wish. Uh, there's many ways you can unwrap. You can just use the default unwrap which automatically place the uh, faces next to each other on your image. You can also, for example, if I select all these and scale them up a more high definition, for example, like here. But I'm just going to leave it default for now. You can also unwrap from views, I believe, as well. You can do smart or uh, project from view. That, was, that would do it from whatever view. Of. But we're just going to leave that because that looks fine at the minute. Um, what we're going to need to do is head over to the head over to the shading panel, where you can edit the nodes for this texture. You, here, you can change what material we're looking at. We're just looking at our material here there are three sections connected together this is just the output this is our diffuse which we selected all these can be a lot of these can be done through the UI but some things are easier done in the node editor um, and here's just that's just identical to over on the right hand side there. Uh, we're going to add a node called bump but you can do shift A or go over here and search for bump. This is our automatic bump map. And okay what we want to do is connect the height to the color over here, the normal to the normal and make sure that's connected. This will immediately add a bump mat. We can change the strength as well, edit the strength if we head over to rendered. You can see as I increase the strength to 4 
it gets more grainy. You want to edit this to get looking as nice as you can. Distance doesn't really do anything other than change the brightness. Uh, sometimes you might want to fiddle with it, but it's usually okay. We'll leave the strength at 1. That looks quite good from a distance. Again, the higher res textures will look better. If we want to see this rendered, we can go into render image and it'll render out our current image. You can change the sampling to speed up the render as well if you wish by lowering this value to 30. It will be much quicker this time. And we could also we could also lock the camera to view, zoom out a bit. And as you can see that looks quite good from a distance there. We'll be doing a tour on how to do a more advanced texturing method using PBR materials in the future if you're interested. Uh, but this is just a quick way to improve your textures. Hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and comment any suggestions or questions.